Chelsea Sherrod here with Zach Cox following the Patriots 54 to 13 blowout win over the Jets. Zach, their first win at home. How about that? Big offensive day for the Patriots. Um, and Coach Belichick noted that they were playing from ahead in this game. How impactful or what big of a difference did that make for them and their success today? Yeah, I think that's been something that they've actually been doing pretty well for a couple of games now. It was a real problem for them early in the season. They basically couldn't score at all for the first four, five, six weeks of the season. They're, they're finally starting to remedy that. They scored in their first two drives in last week's game against the Cowboys. Then they came out, scored touchdown, touchdown, field goal, touchdown, touchdown in the first half to start this game. And when you're playing against a, a Jets team that isn't particularly good and by that point had their backup quarterback in because Zach Wilson got hurt in the first half, it's going to be really tough for them to come back for, from that. But credit to the Patriots to for not just jumping out to that early lead and, and then kind of sitting on it and winning this game I don't know, 28-10 or something like that. They kept the pedal down. They kept going all the way into the fourth quarter. And you saw on the scoreboard, this is the, first, the most points they've scored in the game since 2013. Uh, it was definitely a, a statement game, I would say, for the Patriots. Absolutely. And in making a statement, Mac Jones made a statement. His first 300-plus yard put out for him. We can talk about Hunter Henry scoring on each of the last four games. There's a lot of streaking going on. Um, but can you just talk a little bit about this offense and what you saw from these individuals? Yeah, I think one of the interesting things from this game was, yes, Mac Jones did go over 300 yards for the first time in his career. He had another productive day, but he really wasn't the the driving force of this offense, at least in the early going. And I thought that was a great thing for the Patriots because the Patriots had been leaning too hard uh, in the opposite direction in, in some of these games early in the season where they're telling Mac Jones to, to throw the ball 40, 50 times just because they're falling behind early, their run game isn't getting going, and they're really trying to put it all on Mac Jones' shoulders. And as impressive as he has been as a rookie this year, that's not really a strategy they want to have. I think in this game, their run game was very effective. Uh, they were using a lot of the, these misdirection plays, the, these heavy, uh, heavy personnel packages, heavy formations, just kind of going back to what I think the Patriots wanted to be going into this season. And then on top of that, you have a player in Mac Jones, a quarterback in Mac Jones, who did have another very productive game, uh, capped that 300-yard game with a, a really nice pass to, to Kendrick Bourne down the sideline late in the fourth quarter. So, yeah, another productive game for Mac Jones, but I think the fact that he wasn't the – the only offensive standout superstar in this game, I think was a very good thing for the Patriots. Yeah, absolutely. We can talk about Damian Harris, who had another 100-yard game, too. Um, but enough about the offense. Let's talk about the defense. Uh, Kyle Duggar, uh, J.C. Jackson, what did you see from those guys? Yeah, J.C. Jackson, a strong game, a couple pass breakups. Uh, I thought Joan Williams actually played pretty well. He's a guy that's really been sort of on the outs lately. He was a, a healthy scratch in a couple of the last – uh, two of the last three games was benched in, in the other one of the third of the, of the last three. Uh, Kyle Duggar led up some plays early in this game, uh, came back with an interception. Uh, Patriots forced a fumble late in the game. It's hard to take too much away from this game defensively because, uh, again, they're playing against a Jets team that had their backup quarterback in for most of the time. But this is also a Patriots defense that was without Dante Hightower for the entirety of this game, uh, was without Devin McCourty for basically the entire second half. Those are two extremely important pieces in there. And, and the fact that they were able to to keep this a, a blowout win and, and not let the Jets kind of crawl back into this game in the second half. As it looked like they were about to maybe early in the second half, they let up a, a long drive right out, right off the uh, the top of the third quarter. But the fact they were able to keep this score line as lopsided as it was was definitely a, a step in the right direction for this defense, certainly. Absolutely. And Matt Judon said he, th he thought that they just needed to win at home. How impactful and important do you think it is for them to get a win in Gillette Stadium and to give them momentum going forward? Yeah, I, I think it's huge. This team was 0-4 at home coming into this game. That's very unpatriot-like. Uh, this team typically is, is dominant at home. And, and just overall, they just needed a win. They they still have yet to beat a, a playoff caliber team. But, and it's, I mean, you're playing the Jets. You're supposed to beat the Jets. People will say, yeah, what, what can you take away from a game like that? Uh, I think if this had been a, a close win for the Patriots, it could kind of be written off. But the fact that they were as dominant as they were and won as decisively as they did, uh, I think it can be used as a pretty significant co uh, confidence booster as some players mentioned after the game. Now they got to come out and do it again next week against the Chargers. If they come out and beat the Chargers on the road, yeah. I think that really puts this Patriots season back onto a good track. Uh, if they go out and lose next week, then they're kind of right back where they were coming into this game. But it, it was certainly a, a win that they needed to have, mm -hmm. uh, and they got it certainly in decisive fashion. Definitely, and we hope that they keep that momentum and bring it into week eight, as Zach said, and stay locked in at Nesson.com for all your Patriots coverage.